graphing a vertical or horizontal line. So instructions are graph the line x equals negative 6. Now, whenever you're graphing a line on a coordinate plane, if your equation has both x and y in it, an x and a y, then your line will always be slanted somehow. It might slant positive, it might slant negative, it might be almost vertical, but not quite, okay? Or almost horizontal, but not quite, right? It'll always have a slant to it somehow. If your equation just has an x or just has a y, then you're dealing with vertical, perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal, okay? Remember, vertical is up and down and horizontal is perfectly flat, left to right. Um, now this one just has an x, no y's. So I know it's going to be one of these two. Now this is my x-intercept. x is equal to negative 6 is where the line is going to cross the x-axis. So this is my x-axis, right? This one is y. So on the x-line or the x-axis at negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I'm going to put a dot. So my line has to cross through that dot either perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal. Um, now, if it's perfectly horizontal, it'll be the x-axis, okay? Um, but since there's no y's in this equation, I can't touch the y-axis anywhere. There's no y's. So I can't cross this anywhere. And if I draw in a horizontal line, I'll cross the y-axis, which will give y a value, which I can't have. There's no y's. So my line has to be vertical, okay? I'm intercepting or crossing the x-axis only, right? This line does not touch the y-axis anywhere. It's parallel, in fact, to the y-axis, but I'm crossing the x-axis at negative 6, okay? That's my intercept. If I was graphing a line that was y equals and then a number, it would be a horizontal line. Right, going this way and crossing only the y-axis. So horizontal lines are y equals and then some constant. Vertical lines are x equals and then your intercept or the constant where you cross the axis.